Hi, welcome to the Rookie's Kitchen Basics series, where we teach you how to chop and cut up and prepare your favorite fruits and vegetables for your recipes. Today, we're taking a look at lemons and limes. We're going to show you zesting and juicing on this one. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. Lemons and limes are two odd things that sometimes require zest and sometimes you require juice. Now the best thing for a recipe is fresh lemon or lime juice or fresh lemon zest. So I'm going to show you lemon zest first. I've got a microplane here. This one's actually a little bit bigger. But we're going to use this to zest with. And you just slide the lemon across. And it's going to take the peel off. One of my favorite things about doing this is just how good it smells during the process. So that's lemon zest. Now if you have a recipe that calls for lemon zest, make sure you do that before you juice your lemon. The same thing is going to apply with limes. You can do it on a zester like this. You can also take a peeler and peel pieces off. It's a little bit more difficult to do. But if you want to peel pieces off, you can peel them off like this and then just dice them or slice them up if you want to have larger pieces inside your recipe versus this. This is really good if you want to top a key lime pie or a lemon meringue pie and you want to put pieces of zest on it. Just make sure you chop them up smaller. The next thing we're going to talk about is juicing. Now juicing is really easy but the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure you roll it out a little bit and that's going to help soften everything up inside and make it a little bit easier to juice. See, it's not near as firm as it was compared to the lime. Then, you slice it in half, and you can just squeeze it out. Now, something you're going to want to watch with juicing lemons, they do have seeds. So you're going to want to juice it into a separate container. That way, if you get any seeds, you can just reach in, which I can't do right now and pull them out. There we go. Maybe not. So we want to make sure we remove these. You don't want anybody biting down on that inside your recipe. Limes are the same. And then just squeeze them into a separate container. You can squeeze them into a measuring cup as well. You can also use a fork in them to help break it up. If you have it, citrus reamers work well, as well as citrus juicers. I prefer to do it by hand. Just make sure you don't have any cuts on your hand or it will burn. And I can achieve the same effect and get juice from lemons and limes without dirtying the extra tool. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you learned something today. Be sure to like this video, comment on anything you'd like to see us do here on the Basic Series, and subscribe to us to keep up with us in all of our videos. Thank you. Have a great day.